Hey folks, so there's this really interesting trend that I've noticed. Uh, so while on PBR, uh, random Wi-Fi doubles matches are overwhelmingly dominated by bastard Uber abusers, uh, singles it's been kind of the opposite. I've been seeing a lot of Pokemon from the lower tiers, UU and NU, um, and while the movesets aren't particularly creative, uh, just the fact that they're being used is kind of interesting and kind of creative. So anyway, my opponent here uh, leads off with a mill tank, gets off a stealth rock, I'm, which is kind of silly on 3 versus 3 in my opinion, but uh, I guess if he's doing roaring or something like that, it might be worth his time. Um, so anyway, I get off a super effective hammer arm, but um, there is got to be no uh, mill tank on the face of this earth that doesn't run um, milk drink, so I'm trying another option. I'm trying psychic instead just to see if it does uh, a little bit more. Um, so yeah, he recovers with Milk Drink, which is kind of expected, and so I'm just hoping that the Psychic will do more, um, but as you see, it doesn't. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm not nearly, I don't have nearly as much, uh, special defense, special attack investment as I do, uh, attack investment. Anyway, Milk Tank, uh, uses Earthquake, which I'm not really fearing, except for it gets a crit, and that does a whole hell of a lot, and that's a huge shame, because now my Metagross is basically, um, you know, is down to very low HP for a Metagross, um, and it's just, it, that was a really lucky crit for him, and it's going to help him a lot in this battle. Um, so I'm at minus two speed with my Metagross, but I don't care. Uh, this Metagross was originally on my Trick Room team, so it definitely doesn't care about uh, having low speed. So he sends out Espeon, and I'm really hoping that I can take care of it with a priority bullet punch, or at least do a whole bunch of damage to it, because Espeons don't tend to have very good defenses. Um, and so here comes the uh, he uh, the bullet punch, does a little bit under half. Um, I was not expecting uh, him to carry the hidden power, whatever that was. Um, it could be fire, it could be ground. Uh, really not sure at this point, and I just I guess I'm hoping uh, that it's going to be fire. And so I send out my Tyranitar, which isn't going to fear anything from the hidden power fire. Um, so yeah, I take Stealth Rock damage, which is just the funniest thing ever. I mean, this is a 3 versus 3 match, so I whip up a Standstorm, and that's gonna, um, give me awesome defenses. So I'm gonna get off a Dragon Dance, um, because I'm pretty much forced to switch, I figure. Um, yeah, if that would have been Hidden Power Ground, even so, I would have been okay. So he sends out a Hariyama, um, which is not a good thing for me. So I do get the uh, attack and speed raise, uh, but Hariyama is a fighting type, uh, as a physical fighting type, so the Sandstorm's not gonna, it's not really gonna care about the, ham uh, the Sandstorm. It's uh, got a Toxic Orb, so now I'm pretty sure it's getting a Guts Boost, um, and two of my attacks are resisted by it. I don't know why I went with the Stone Edge rather than the Aqua Tail. Aqua Tail has better accuracy, would have hit harder in this case. I guess maybe I was hoping for the crit, um, but so yeah, he gets off a close combat, gets, out, gets a crit, I don't think it mattered because of um, the guts boost, um, but that's pretty much that. You know, that's an easy one-hit KO, uh, and that's sad for me. <clears throat> so anyway, next out for my team is going to be Celebi, uh, and I am going to, uh, you know, hope and pray that I'm going to be able to deal with this guy. So I go ahead and um, use Seed Bomb here. I really should have predicted the switch. I mean, the switch prediction should have been kind of obvious, but I didn't want to over-predict it. That was really the thing. So um, I'm going to go ahead and Seed Bomb his Espeon, um, which is going to hit him, fa you know, fairly hard, um, but it isn't going to be enough to KO, and he's got a Citrus Berry. Um, but that's okay, I've got the U-Turn, and now that I'm the last Pokemon, it's not like I'm going to go anywhere. I should have just used U-Turn on, uh, on the first turn, I probably would have killed it. Uh, so that definitely is Hidden Power Fire based on how much damage that does, and it, the fact that it's super effective. Um, so I go ahead and take it out with U-Turn, and I'm... Yeah, so I just played that wrong. I really just should have U-Turned the first time predicting the switch. Um, but so now uh, his, he's going to send Hariyama back out, um, and that Hariyama probably carries payback, I figure. So I'm going to go ahead and recover, um, get back as much HP as I can. Um, Hariyama goes ahead and uses Fake Out, um, which no good for me. Um, you know, getting me a little bit lower in my HP, uh, it means that's you know, that's HP that I'm not really getting back. Um, so I go ahead and recover here. Um, I really should have just run the calcs and seen how much payback would do, uh, because had I done that, I probably should, would have attacked with uh, Seed Bomb on the first turn, 
and I might have actually KO'd it depending on his uh, his various investments. Uh, but so he's going to go ahead and bullet punch me here and win the battle. Uh, and that's sad for me. So, uh, my opponent was really, really awesome using all UU pokes. Um, I think Espeon is either UU or NU. Um, but anyway, I was using an OU team and he beat me, so, uh, good job of him. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge, folks. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow.